Artwork, critiques, Photoshop files and reference sheets are all available on my Patreon. Well hello there guys and girls, my name's Mikey, welcome back to my room, it's time for another tutorial! And seeing as not too long ago we used some basic shapes to build up some smaller framed and younger anime girls, head to toe, I thought today we could take a look at some slightly older characters. Basically, get some very visually appealing and very curvy anime ladies laid out using some basic shapes and building blocks. So I'm going to crack on with some super cheap printer paper, a few layers that I have here on the desk if you want to follow along at home, and of course a super cheap disposable mechanical pencil. Essentially it's like a 2B. And just to help as a little bit of a guide I've got a ruler as well. And what I'm going to do is basically dive straight in and just mark a little bit of a guideline about a centimeter from the top of the page which is just going to help me have all of the heads starting at the top and this is because I'm going to draw the character a handful of times from some slightly different angles all lined up next to each other which could hopefully make for a convenient character sheet for you guys at home. Now, last time when we were doing much younger anime girl characters, we were talking about things being about five and a half head heights tall. And for a slightly older character, we're gonna up that number. So I'm gonna be aiming today for something around about six and a half head heights tall. Quite a common thing with um, anime and manga female characters, around about that sort of late teens to 18 mark. So I'm just going down with inches on the ruler, just measuring out six and a half. And because the middle part of our character around very loosely the hips and bum area tends to be halfway, I'm actually just going to go six heads down, vaguely here, and this does not need to be perfect at all, it's just a very loose guide. I'm just going to let that help me understand where everything is dropping off. Now today I'm going to be using these basic shapes to run you through a very quick example for those of you guys who are following along. Let's crack on with drawing these curvy ladies. Now as ever I'm going to be putting a head shape right up in this corner here and to do that I'm going to be starting off with a very soft circle shape. I'm working lightly and I will be making sure that my general guidelines are just heavy enough that they're going to show up nicely on the camera probably working a bit thicker than I would in real life for my designs. Pop a center line down here, just to the bottom of that head area, and then I'm going to sweep in a line down towards the jaw here to roughly describe a facial shape. Up round here for a bit of cheek, in for the dimple of the cheek, and then up for the brow as we come around, just like that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do for a full-on character design is drop a line straight down here just so that I understand the center of the weight. This is not the spine line, we're gonna be doing that next. And I'm going to then have a line which is the spine that comes down from the head and then sweeps a little bit forward for the chest kind of coming out towards us, the boobs popping in our direction, and then sweeps back a bit for the bucket area of the hips like so. And that's going to help me guide where we're putting in the building blocks. So firstly, I'm going to sweep out a shoulder line, something like this, and then also something similar for the hips along here. And I'm going to drop down and in this top section, basically just describe a very loose egg shape. This is going to very roughly be the rib cage section of our character that we're gonna build up from. And then an ellipse, which is much wider than it is tall, kind of really flattened out, but very wide here, which is gonna sweep down and be the hip zone. Now, unlike when we were drawing and designing the shapes for our younger female anime characters, you can certainly throw a lot of sexuality and the three key curvy areas into your older adult females if you want to make them very visually appealing. And those key areas, of course, are going to be the boobs, the bum, and the thighs, the main kind of attractors that you kind of get in an evolutionary sense. Now, however, I'm going to continue on having gotten these basic shapes in by popping in a circle over here for the first shoulder and a circle over here for this shoulder as well and this helps me kind of understand that right coming from up here down towards the middle I'm going to have some collarbone shapes there and there and I'll put a sweeping line just to get that neck in as well and then I'm going to think about the front center line of my character that is running down the front of the chest to about here then I've got a counter curve under this egg chest shape for where the ribs kind of sweep in and stop about there. And I'm also going to think about the fact that the front of this line is gonna run down the tummy, belly buttons around about here, 
There's a little bit of a curve out for the bottom of the tummy area before things go down to the privates down there. Then I'm going to think that, right, we've got some uh, scapulars, some shoulder blades behind things here, keeping everything together. And then as for the rest of this area, I know that this bucket shape is going to be the hard bone area here for the hips, just there and just there. And that the main front wall of the tummy is going to come down from the lowest point of the ribs at the front, somewhere like so. Maybe sweep out a bit depending on the fat content you've got for your character, just there. And also I can imagine another line sweeping in around just there as well. And now it's just a case of deciding to kind of join these things up with a sweeping line coming down here and then just a bit that goes in here and then comes out to the hips. And what we're going to be looking at and focusing on a little bit as well is the kind of feeling of an hourglass figure for some of these character designs. So let's go in here, follow the, just the edge of the tummy line down before we get out to the hips there. And then I might just chuck um, some quick arms on this character. This one will drop down. So the upper section of the arm, you can kind of map in as stopping at the lowest point of the floating ribs. And I'll just have her arm sweep down there. And then the wrist area drops right to the very bottom edge of the entire torso area down there. And then maybe just a little uh, shape to indicate the hands going off there. And on this side, I'll just have it maybe come out in this direction following an arc shape, sweeping up to about here, and then maybe waving to somebody vaguely over there, just like that with a casual hand shape, which we're all going to fill in in just a second. So the reason why I've got this center weight line that I put in earlier, very faintly of course, is just to make sure that the legs or the feet at least land either side of this line and that the overall weight and balance of the character is mapped out correctly. So I'm just going to have one leg from this outside edge sweep down to here, and then another leg, do a similar thing, maybe just coming out just a little bit there. And what I'm actually going to do is very, very lightly, just think about two long, thin isosceles triangles. I'm just going to imagine very loosely a shape that goes down like this, and also a shape relatively flat at the front that goes down something like this as well. Now, because we've got this entire leg zone or area in here, around about halfway, I am going to just sweep across and understand that we're gonna have on the front of our leg area, our knee joints, which I'm just going to indicate by these circles, and then we're gonna to start to join these up. Now, there were very little in terms of curves and bumps for younger anime characters, but when it comes to the fires on older and curvier ladies, this is where you can really start to accentuate. So what I'm going to do is understand that the thickest part of the top of the thigh is actually going to be right up here near the torso and everything is going to sweep out in these curves kind of towards the kneecap and then we'll just add some bits on the side. So to do that, I'm gonna start over here where we've got the hips kind of kicking everything off and I'm going to just sweep out a generous curve that curves more at the top than it does towards the bottom and I'm gonna let that sweep down towards the inside edge of the knee there, or the outside edge I should say, on this side. And then on the front, if I imagine that our kneecap's doing all this work here, I'm gonna let that thigh also just sweep and bulge a bit as it comes up towards the front of our character shape just there. So you can imagine that these are the privates just up here, there's the underside of the curve of the tummy, and this is where the leg kind of meets on. Very curvy, big chicken thighs, big meaty shape. Then. I'm going to just kind of indicate a bit of shape that we've got to the kneecap. Maybe it's just sticking out a bit so you know there's gonna be a bit of shadow underneath. And then as for the bottom part of the leg and the calves, I'm actually going to imagine that this circle starts off the whole situation, that it's gonna start the curve that now sweeps down here, very loosely following this kind of triangular line shape that we had earlier as a guide, and sweeps its way down towards the ankle. So let's put a little circle in there. And then on the front side or the inside edge, these kind of curves and sweeps are gonna be much more like straight shallow lines. So I'm just gonna come up, just show a little bit of calf bump, but mostly just kind of bring that as a straight line up and in. And then with this leg, as it's facing a little bit more off to the side, we're really going to be able to accentuate that feeling. So what we've got going on here is this kind of idea that the uh, back area of the leg here is all sweeping down and in. So I'm just gonna bring that again down towards the knee. And that the front is gonna have a bit of bump for our outer or front calf, wait, not calf muscle, the front leg muscles over here. I wanna say the 
quadriceps, have I got that right? By bringing that down here and over like so, but it's all swinging in to meet this knee, which is suddenly um, a bit of a kind of a hard, solid anchor point for the rest of the leg. I'm going to show again that that's probably sticking out forward. And then now I've got the front part of the shin bone down here, almost being a slightly inverted kind of sweep. Can you see I'm actually just curving in a little bit, slightly concave, then just going down. And then again, if I just start up here, imagine this big circular shape and then swing the calf right out from there. Because we're looking a bit more side on, I get to really accentuate this curve a little bit more and bring that down about so. But I'm gonna make sure that it's not all right at the, it's not all joining at the very front of the kneecap. I'm going to make sure that actually we've got the side of the knee, there's all sorts of tendons and things joining things together right here. And then we're sweeping up to the back of that leg. Then what really helps accentuate the curves of the legs and the shape is a bit of a, a high heel shape or shoe onto our character. And what's also very useful is it means that we get to kind of cheat and not have to draw too much of the feet. So I'm just gonna sweep out here. Imagine that we've got the ball of the foot going down there somewhere. And I'm just gonna bring everything down over the top part of the arch, sweep it in. And then right down there, we've got some kind of flat shoe shape with some sort of heel. And again, guys, this is a very loose tutorial to talk about the curves and the shapes for a more salubrious and older character. This is never really gonna be the most perfect artwork in the world, I do apologize. And then, because this foot's actually facing towards us, let's do a very similar thing. Arch is coming right down here. Then we've got the flattened out area of the foot that takes a lot of weight, all the toes pointing towards us, something like so. And the heel is behind that just outside of our line of sight. So let's just pop back up here and round up a few things with the arms and then we're going to take a look at these boobs. So I'm going to just join these arms up with some very simple cylindrical shapes. Even on a curvy character we don't need to overly express things. However where we've got this joint here at the elbow for the forearm I'm going to swing out a little bit almost like an elliptical shape before I bring it all into some straighter lines. Can you see here there's almost another kind of thin slim egg sitting in here before we go direct down to the hand and then this isn't a hand tutorial but let's just put in a vague thumb to kind of finger gesture situation here and I'm rotating my pencil a little bit so that I'm not using uh, a flat edge all the time and I'm just getting a little bit of curve and shape to fit and then if I just sweep back up here over to the shoulder and then we can do a similar thing on this arm but first let's get those boobs in. So the way I like to map this is we start with the bottom of our shoulder circles and I imagine that the chest is a slightly curved surface that we're working across here and then the boobs are going to begin below that and depending on how large they are we're going to kind of make them hang accordingly. So you kind of want to imagine these as being um, basically a bit like water balloons or teardrop shapes. They do squish and they are subject to movement and other environmental factors around them but for the most part we're going to imagine that things start from the uh, spine up at the neck and just go outward throughout the rest of the chest, outward through to the front. And I'm just going to go ahead and swing something in here. Let's be nice and generous with our older character. So armpit to edge of chest to curve of boob. Let's say we've got something like this. And I'm just going to sweep a little bit forward in this direction, down and around. And in fact, let's not go too crazy just because we might do a really, really voluptuous character uh, breakdown design as well in the future. But let's also suggest that these boobs are supported by some sort of bra material. So I won't have them just going off in crazy directions. But I am certainly just describing the fact that there's a surface going on here. If you imagine the center surface line, probably something like this as it goes up over the body. And then the other boob as well, a bit more side on. So we're gonna see that it's kind of flat against the chest or tummy area. And then it's going to be obviously swinging out from the surface. So let's go down here, sweep back up around here, just like so. And again, I'm thinking about this kind of very loose water balloon, kind of teardrop feeling up there. And then again, the center line for that will be a little bit more out in that direction as it sweeps away. So then we just get to work out what's going on with that far arm. I'm going to get a quick shape and cylinder down here. Just bring out that little joint area to kind of be where it maps this part of the forearm onto the other section. Swing up like so. There's our very loose uh, cylindrical shape or 
elliptical shape, I should say. There we go, there's my words. With a bit of a point down here for the elbow, and then we've got another hand up here. So if we have this hand facing outward, I will just allow it to have a little bit of area where it sweeps out for the thumb. Let's say there. And then again, I'm just gonna go super loose with these fingers. And we're just gonna say something like this, waving like that, and then all the other fingers spread out like so in terms of how we're seeing things. Hopefully that doesn't look too weird. So of course with this character, maybe this is where our upper part of a brow line is going to be. Depends on what's going on with your overall shape and character form designs for this type. And that the eyes might just be sitting somewhere around about here. Obviously there's no hair on this character, which would have all sorts of um, volume and other shape to really kind of build things up. But that's our very loose idea of what's going on. So as you can see, what we're thinking about are the kind of curves now. We've got this lovely sharp collarbone line that sweeps down over the shoulders. We've obviously got some uh, very large boobs now which accentuate the curves up top. This hourglass figure where we're wide at the shoulders, thin at the hips, or thin at the waist I should say, and then wide at the hips, and also we're now sweeping out wide at the thigh. You can make this curve here just actually become part of this line. The more that we would look around, the more this would take us around to viewing the bum just behind. And then we've got these cylindrical salubrious shapes for doing their job. But again, we are essentially just assigning different cylinders at different points to do different parts of the job. And then of course, we've got the tummy area separated out here. So those are kind of the basic thinking systems to this. What I'm going to do to give us some examples is drop into a little bit of time lapse, put down another couple of poses here so that we can understand these curves and shapes from different angles. And then I'll see you guys right at the end. Okay guys, and yeah, welcome back. So there we have it. As you can see, I've been using the exact same method as I've made our way along here. Now, something that I did do is just ever so slightly tidy up the lines that we've got going down this calf and over the thigh. We're really going for that kind of chicken drumstick shape where uh, the majority of that circumference is happening right up top, right up by near the torso and then sweeping down in these alluring curves. And then when it comes to the rear of the character, I do tend to split the back up into some very basic muscle groups, traps, shoulder blades, uh, delts and so on. And then obviously we've got the nice curves of the bum. These are all happening right behind the hips, right behind where all of these thighs are meeting in. And it never hurts to just accentuate a bit of line where the meat of the back of the leg comes up and enters into the glute area for the actual bum muscles themselves. And also here, you can really see how these kind of 
egg shapes are meeting up in the back of the leg for the calves as they make their way into the rest of the muscles there into the hamstrings and then when we look at the side profile of the character again you get a bit of a feel for how we've got a straight line over the front of the shin but a curve at the back and then we're just again just having these different groups sweeping in with these slightly different shaping curves and once more again as well just working out the overall arc and shape as we see the bum from the side on. It's not a perfect circle it tends to be a bit of a golden ratio where the curve starts out very lightly and then sweeps in a bit more as it tucks in at the rear and then of course what I wanted to do as well is just throw in a fourth example which I built up a little bit differently so if you pop right back into the time lapse you're going to see that all I wanted to do here was accentuate the hourglass figure so instead of worrying too much about the specific building blocks being perfect I actually just swept out this overall large shape at the shoulders a triangle that sweeps it all thin around the waist and then swept it out nice and generous back across the hips and then I did this big circular arcing curve at the top which kind of is going to be the overall form of the thighs if they were to sweep all the way around in a consistent line and I brought that just down into a triangle point and I let that actually be my loose guide for them putting in uh, the different shapes of the legs for groups getting those knees into place and so on. I'm still using the building blocks method of these basic shapes and thinking in terms of cylinders and points around curving circles and so on but by mapping out this different sweeping shape first as you can see I've ever so slightly bumped up the uh, voluptuousness of the hips and thigh area of these characters. So again when it comes to building up the kind of smaller younger girls we've got in that earlier tutorial around about five and a half head heights high we want them to be alluring but we're not really working on you know the sexual nature that you get with a lot of lovely surface curves but when it comes to our older characters if you do want to give them that kind of you know bit of a pop and a bump you want to be thinking quite a lot about the overall form working firstly and the weight of the character working as well but really your best curves are going to be around for boobs for bums and the thighs so thank you very much for watching along guys i really do hope you found today's tutorial to be of some use and you'll notice we've got a whole load of names scrolling on screen at the moment these are my september patrons so a great big shout out to repair 1997 Breton f Anthony C, Michael P, Ethan M, Ten Ten, Hamongchi L, Akumu Arts, Jamie, Medissa, Zahaki, and Brendan J. And for anybody who is interested, I'm going to scan in this tutorial worksheet and I'm going to add it into the tutorials reference pack at the end of the month, where you can download all of my tutorials reference bits for a dollar on Patreon if you're interested. So guys, get in the comments section below and let me know what other tutorials you would like to see in the future. But really, one of the main reasons I've just been recapping how to build up the overall forms of different types of female characters is A, because we've had a whole load of new joiners to the channel. Welcome, thank you so much. But because also B, we're going to be starting to take a look at materials and clothing and how you get the folds in place. So I want you to know how to draw the person, but we're going to be hanging the clothes on for next time around. I'll see you then, guys. Make sure you're subscribed and take care.